Good evening. From morning until evening. One change chase, chases another change. Even if you plan stuff, you don't know all the consequences. But you have to decide when a storm is coming, how can we retreat in the very center of the storm? Because in the very center, it's very quiet. When I was a young novice, it was not easy to know which was my place. And I remember one time when I was with my teacher in Korea, we visited our grand teacher. He was an old man. And during the day, I started to compare myself and thought, well, hmm, that's not really a wise man. And some days went by and I was doing what I had to do. But I wasn't really impressed. And of course, my teacher knew what I was thinking. And now when I sit in my own, old, own temple, it's already getting old. <laughs> And the young monks and the young are coming. I know they think the same about me. This guy don't know what he's doing. That's very easy. So pride comes very quickly. As soon as you accomplished a thing, you have to be very careful. That's why you should put your straw sandals in front of the gate. You never know when you will use it again. How many times does the phoenix has to die? Today, my child entered kindergarten. <laughs> So as a parent, there's a big change as well for the kid. The old father has to die. So that we can be reborn out from the ashes. And the kid is not the same kid anymore. So we have to be very careful. 
because it's changing very quickly. When I finished my training, I was kicked out into the marketplace. I was offered many temples to take over. But I knew first you have to go back to the marketplace. It's only the straw sandals. That's the proper way. Re-examine what you really have. To re-examine what really belongs to you. So I was thrown into the marketplace. <clears throat> no place to stay. No money. Just a thousand year old ropes and a begging bowl. Every day you're thrown into the marketplace, thrown out of the cozy monastery. So, what do you do? when you are thrown into the marketplace. This is called the stick of encouragement. Thank you very much. <laughs> 